community sport hubs bring together sports clubs and other local key partners to work together to develop the sporting opportunities in the communities. We work in partnership with not just uh, local sport clubs but various key local partners such as the Govern Academy PE department we were in just now, um, Govern Active Schools and Govern Youth Trust as well. So working you know, all the way from Troon all the way down to, to Girvan, covering all, the whole of South Ayrshire. We want to engage not just in, within our leisure facilities, but also out in, in great venues like this, providing community sport together. We've waited so long for a facility like this. It's amazing for not only like us playing, but the school, for other teams coming to play. Irvine use our facility as well, so it's, you know, it's not just Troon that benefits from it, it's other surrounding areas as well. The overall aim of the Community Sport Hubs is ultimately to get as many people taking part in sport and physical activity on a regular basis. There are five Community Sport Hubs in South Asia, so we have Troon, Presswick, North Carrick, North Ayr and South Carrick. We just want to make more opportunities for the community of South Carrick to participate in sport and physical activity and showcase the activities that are currently going on and just make everyone more aware of the, the clubs and all the opportunities they have in this area. So the focus is on developing new opportunities in the community, but also to highlight all of the fantastic opportunities that are currently on offer as well. I got into football because my dad was a footballer, so I was like, I'm going to give it a go. So I did now I'm playing with my favourite team, Trim Thistle. I'm at uh, Morris One Rugby Training. We have three training sessions a week. It just makes you tougher and like, more confident, and it's really fun. That Friday thing is a multi-sport club um, that we run through Govan Academy's PE department's core sport academy and we work with various local sport and volunteers, Govan Youth Trust staff to deliver sport to young people between the ages of primary six through to S6. Um, we actually currently have 192 on the register from last year and we work on average about 80 per night. It's good, it's a club for the sports, to come, the kids to come and play sports. Finds them especially down in Govan, there's not a lot for them to do. They kind of get choice of what sports they want to do and then that gets them like into a leeway of what sport they would like to kind of pursue when they're older. So first of all I was a student at Garvin Academy and I joined a sports academy class in 2015 and through it I started volunteering at TFD because it was our main project, doing blocks of coaching each month. I gradually worked my way up into employment at TFT. It brings a sense of community. Personally for me as a fitness instructor, it's great seeing the young ones coming through, keeping fit, you know, staying active, staying off the streets. It's a good place to do sports with your friends and that you can even meet new people from schools all around. Also, you get to see your friends and uh, you also get to enjoy a load of stuff. Uh, over the last year, within just Sportstastic, this summer holiday programme we just finished, it was 240 children um, and young people. Again, if you add in the Easter programme and that Friday thing, we're, we're, we're hitting just above 500 over the last year. I would tell them that they should try it out because it's really fun and you get to try a little bit of everything and you're not stuck in the house. I think it's good to like give something back to like, because we've been going for years and enjoying and we always look up to the people that used to take the clubs. Yeah. So now it's good to like have people looking up to us. 